It's a hot one here in Mauritius. It's 2019 African Crap World Cup. Hello, my name is Jack Shepard, and I'm joined by, for the third time, Samuel Ayton here. Hello. In Mauritius. We've got Sao Tome and Princip today, playing Congo, Brazzaville at the Sir Gaetan Duval Stadium. What do you make of this one, Samuel? Uh, it should be a good game. Sao Tome need to win it. Congo... They want to end it on on a high. Um, they're probably not going to be advancing. I don't think they can advance at this point. It's unlikely. Um, yeah. But they can go out here. They can get a result. They can show that they are a better side than what they've shown so far. I think Luis Leal yeah. can have a big one. But I also think TAV Bifuma can have a big one. Yep, Sonic. Um, and it will be a yep Sonic. And it will be it will be a good game. I love the Gaetan Deval. So. Uh, Let's get it underway. Let's see what's going to go on in this tie. And it's certainly warming up in Mauritius, isn't it, after the rain yesterday? It is, yeah. Dried out really quickly, actually. The pitch is pretty much bone dry again already. I'm starting to sweat in the studio here, in the commentary booth. It is warm. It was nice to have that rain yesterday, just because you could step outside. Um, and uh, Although we had an umbrella, the wind was quite nice. Uh, certainly loud, isn't it? It is certainly loud. The, the fans here are, are loving it, though. Look at, look at how packed that stadium is. Packed Sir Gaetan de Val Stadium. Kit's a little bit clashy in this one, but it shouldn't be too bad, I don't think, when they actually get underway. It's I think a it's bit of a theme, the, isn't it? I think it's just because, like like you and James were saying, a lot of teams wearing the green. Yeah, a lot of teams have green. And, uh, well, somewhere on the, on the kit, red, anyway. yellow, and the green kind of thing. The, the thing that features on both these nations' flags, which is... Green, yellow, and red, isn't it? Yeah, so it's, it's going to be it makes sense that they have a similar, um, a similar kit colour. There is the beautiful Sir Gaetan de Val Stadium and the South Tome and Principal Lionel Lewis Leal heads that one. Uh, Joel and Suarez in the midfield have been playing well. Yeah, they've been doing very well actually. I think uh, you know Nye's been good, Ronaldo has been good, but Lewis Leal really for me is one of the top players of this tournament so far. He is, yeah. And uh, Congo Brazzaville here, Saint Louis and Bifuma, they've been good up front. Tiavi Bifuma has been prolific. And uh, Onyangwe has also been very good. Five at the back there they as well. And Dore scored a good goal last game. And I think there's been unfortunate that that Togo defeat absolutely ripped them apart, Congo. So uh, they'll hope for a bit of a different game this time out. And the prediction from yourself? I think it's got to be Sao Tome, but I don't think it'll be so close. I think maybe 3-2. Yep, I'm expecting a good one. Maybe, maybe yeah, 3-2 is probably about right. Maybe, maybe four. Goal. Maybe four. There'll be goals. There'll be goals. Certainly be goals, yep. If not all conceded by Congo, as they've only scored three and conceded eight so far they this tournament. They have conceded a few, but their goals that they have scored have been well taken. But we've seen uh, Comoros have conceded a lot of goals, but they've also scored a lot of goals. Ten and ten. But, you know, they, I mean, we've seen teams score five in one game, so these guys could equal their conceded tally in one game here. It's just just playing it around the back that. here, uh, Sao Tome and Princip. They're in the favourable position, so they're not trying to take their game to Congo. They're going to let the game come to them. And Mayembo. Oh, well, that header there. And it is that man, Luis Leal. Yep, he gets in what, these positions. I'll tell you what got me, right, is coming into this tournament, there was probably three strikers that I just thought instantly of, knowing who was in this tournament. I thought, Luis Leal, Emmanuel Adebayor, and Zay Louis. Z Louis. I think I think unfortunately for Z Louis, he's he hasn't had the worst of tournaments, so he hasn't scored yet. Whereas Adebayor and Leal have really stepped up. This is the kind of tournament for especially for Leal, you know, he's playing in Argentina, but he could get a move to Europe or something with a good tournament here. And for me, there's no reason to say why he can't kick it with the best of them. He could be a good signing for a, a decent side, and that was a good effort there. It was Joel there with the, the long ranger. But I think, yeah, certainly had a good had a good tournament as Leal and I'd, I'd expect to see him on the score sheet here. Even Aldo, that's a great cross in! Oh, it is, and it's just over the bar. Was it headed over by the Congo man though? It looks like a defensive header there and it is it the is corner a defensive here. header. Jose De Silva gets this one whipped in. He does indeed, he's going to go right to the far post. And there was Mafumbi. no one in the six yard box there. Mafumbi gets onto it. <laughs> There's that, that lovely type of throw that we love to see. We all love watching that. And Dinga. Same way. Louis. Can't connect with TAV Bifuma. That one's bounced off someone's head, and here is TAV Bifuma. And we know what he can do with the ball. And mm. not much today, though. Mm. But he does win him his team of throwing because they've just got rid of that. I know she did out a little bit. I think they're right back a little bit more advanced. But we know what even Aldo likes to do. He's, he's not just going to stand there and defend all day. He certainly not is. A, not a defensive right back. But that there, it's run back by Nye. And given away there. Given away by Dory. 
Tiavi Bifuma St. Louis well he tried to usher that one into the goal didn't he and Bifuma's well Bifuma nearly it. deflected that one in and uh, so Tom in prints it and they live to fight another day in this one somehow managed to well still not clear and Bifuma's won it back He's having a good game so far, Bifuma, I think. Oh, uh, and that's, that's a... been sent all the way... Oh, no! It's, it's a long goal! It's gone in! Unbelievable! <laughs> I don't believe what I've just seen. <laughs> Jeremy can't control it. Well, that's just fired <laughs> straight over the line. Oh, my goodness. That's one of the strangest goals ever. <laughs> and I don't know what's happened because it's been sent... And, and Dore's gone in to win it, and it's... it's, it's Dore's the... kicked it off the guy, and Jeremy's just failing to control it. Well, my word... He's kicked it into him. Yeah, that's a sweet goal, isn't it? But and doesn't even cross the line. That does that. Does that go over it the definitely line? Crosses the line. There, it must do. The referee, goal line the referee technology. will know, but it it looks like it didn't even cross it. But Congo Brazzaville lead with an absolute freak of a goal. And that is. And I knew the keeper was under pressure, but I certainly didn't think that Jeremy would have conceded that there. But it, I mean, to be fair, if it if it if he wasn't on his line there, he would have been lobbed. So yeah, that's true. There's not really much of the goalkeeper could do. Perhaps if they'd had Athiu in goal, the man who's good with his feet, he can't control it with his hands either, because then it's a back pass, isn't it? That's very true. Yeah. So he's he's unfortunate there, Jeremy. But he should have just maybe just thrown his body in front of it and conceded the corner, perhaps. But I think he's tried. Oh, he's to given do. away the. Uh free kick in the box yeah I mean he has actually controlled it hasn't he which is the the worst part of it for him yeah it just crossed the line as part of the control here's St. Louis oh, he's saved there maybe Louis. that'll help conference levels he's a good goalkeeper he's just unfortunate <laughs> really that, that I mean his, his teammate didn't help him it wasn't it wasn't a, a slow pass back it certainly was it? wasn't it was a he's actually he's actually shot struck there. that it was a strike <laughs> back to him <laughs> but again you wouldn't expect to score from that range would you really not not regularly at least in Leal to Jose da Silva been a good player Pale calls for a free kick there but the referee says play says on no. Tiavi Bifuma here he goes oh what a tackle that was Bifuma just getting up to speed and that sent the ball the other way and Joel Matthew Bowdry comes across and he makes yeah. a good tackle another good tackle there Prince Onyangwe I believe he's called Prince Onyangwe I believe I've heard of him Please for some team in France, I think. Maybe FC Mets, perhaps. Nye. That one's won well. One. St. Louis finds Thierry Bafuma. Here's Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, and he's hit the right. post. This game's got everything. And that's Freaky. because St. Louis just snapped a guy in the box. And I think... He's not, he's, he's not gone in to hurt the man. He's just he's trying to win the ball there. And he's just turned him and he's gone straight through Suarez, who's then been megged on the floor. Yeah, a weird meg through the through arms. Through the arm and the leg. Yeah, that was a bit of an interesting one. Oh, and Bifuma should have maybe closed that a little bit more. But we saw that happening in the last game yesterday. Comoros and Cape Verde, Yusuf trying to capitalise on those kind of things. And we obviously saw Iburoi actually intercept that kind of pass. Which helped them win that game. Was the game winning goal in the end? Zeta Silva that's, that's well won there by uh, you can't see who it is actually in his booth Bifuma oh. and that one was a bit better wasn't it but he loves the chip Jiminy getting in that time but I thought he was going to smash at his keeper again there Nye oh that's Ooh. a great ball Luis Leal here but he's got no one with him but Leal can walk it in from here almost Leal still goes. What a lovely back heel. Mayembo. Oh no, sorry, Mayembo was the Congo man defending. My, my mistake. Dory, a man we know can hit them because he has hit them before in this tournament. Onyangwe. And so straight straight at the keeper. keeper, yeah. You kind of want one of those to just fly in the top corner, don't you? Because I'll tell you what, it would look fantastic. But we haven't really seen that many screamers of late. I think a lot of the goals since this tournament's been it's it's opened up in terms of goal scoring, but it's also closed up in terms of goal scoring because the defence is getting a little bit better. It's warming up as the uh, tournament goes, as I am warming up here uh, in yeah, It's warm in here now. Very warm. Refereeing seems to be a little bit stricter as well, doesn't it? Refereeing's been, uh, been a bit horrific, too easy hasn't it, for but me? That there, not a card. 
And Dory and Joel's read it. He has been good, Joel. He has actually been very good. Well, so is Jose de Silva. One touch, two touch, how will you please? Oh, on the young way. Ooh. Oh, Genemy with another good save there. But that one was a lot closer to going in. I think he struggled there. Did, did Genemy, is that the keeper's name? I think it is, yeah. I and think he struggled with that one. And I think that was a nice little move from the Congos there, trying to get it through with just trying to play it a little bit like Barcelona would do. But unfortunately, they don't have Messi to put it in at the end and that's ahead of just over the bar and that is going to be half time we have our first own goal of the tournament yep that's a great one to see <laughs> come up there and Congo the worst scoring side in the tournament or one of the worst side one of the worst scoring sides and they can't even score their own goals now <laughs> they're relying on the other team to do it <laughs> um, but a good game wasn't it unbelievable that one yep well, it's still off. Half yeah, time. I unbelievable as if it's finished there but it's, uh, it's been a cracker so far yep um Sao Tome dominating the possess possession. They've had less shots though, and Luis Leal's been a little bit quiet. Um, so he's had that chance, but didn't have any teammates up front with him. Yeah, and he had that early header, which he's put just wide, but I think normally that's one of them chances where I think you can get that chance too early, if you know what I mean. I think. Um, so, unless Congo can win 6 0. They're going home regardless today. And I don't think they'll win 6 0 because I think that well, Sao Tome will probably yeah. get a goal. So. Um, but this is sending Sao Tome home, as things stand. And Sao, to Sao Tome going out on this one, is it? Would it be Swatini and it would, well, Togo going that, through? It would then depend on the result of the other game. Uh, Sao, Sao, Sao Tome and East Swatini are both on three, three points, points yeah. aren't they? And yeah. it's goal difference that give East Swatini the one goal advantage there. But you'd imagine they get beaten by Although one goal. Although that's a two goal advantage since... Yes, since it is. Yeah, You'd imagine, you'd imagine they're going to get beaten by, um, yep. by the other, other side. Indeed. Really. Well, let's hope Sao Tome and Princip can take medicine in their own hands here and get six points. Yeah, exactly. Are we going to get this one on underway? We will, yep. And this is going to be Congo to kick us off. The Brazzaville, of course. Otherwise known as the Republic of Congo. And in the trust countries that have... Republic of or Peoples or Democratic in well, the title. Well, they have the Democratic Republic of Congo and the Republic, Republic of, of Congo. Congo but and I don't believe either of them are particularly Republican or Democratic. Yeah, that's, the, that's, the, that's what worries me about these countries. Well, if you have to say it... You're obviously not. Yeah, you're lying. Yeah. As Leal hits that one through. We don't call ourselves the Democratic Republic of the United Kingdom, no, do we? But, it, but we have a, a vote every four years, so... Don't things like China worry me? With yeah, the position there, really, of China. I don't know why people have public, is it? much of a say in that nation. I think it's more. Uh, well, it is, isn't it? It's a regime. It is a regime. It's just disguised, um, like Russia is. And I think that's the issue with a lot of these these nations here. It's why you see the African crap nations with some countries in this one, like maybe maybe the likes of Comoros and Mauritius being here. It's more due to the fact that they don't have a large population. Football's maybe not high on their list of to do. Um, but you know, countries like Togo got a high enough population. They maybe it's the government not, not taking action. They're not, not really deciding what they need to to capitalise on, really. And it's a real shame because there's a lot of nations in Africa that do have talented football players and maybe could make something of their nations, but decide instead not to do so. And that's a, definitely a foul. But do they even need it? Because Saint Louis almost scored. Oh, that's a yellow card. And they've got to remember they're fighting for their lives now, Sao Tome. They can't go and lose this game. No. Nope. Saw's so there, he hardly even hit Story. A little bit of a dive there, maybe. And only angry. I think maybe you're going to get this one up and over the wall. No, Does it hit didn't. the wall there, or? I don't think so, I think that just floats out. But yeah, it just floats in it. I think if he got a bit more whip on that, that might have been dangerous. Genemy. Leon Ildo Suarez. Or Saws, however you want to say it. I would call it Suarez myself, personally, but... Jose De Silva. De Silva stopped there in his tracks. And I just... What I'm noticing here from Sao Tome, they don't really seem to have that attacking threat that other nations have had. And I wouldn't go sliding in on this bone-dry grass here. And there is Ivanaldo. It is bone-dry. It is, it's, it's not the kind of grass you want to slide on, you end up cutting yourself with the mud. 
And Jose De Silva has a lot of time to run in there, but only has. Oh, and that was a that's a shady challenge, but I it's not. That was well, well won. It was well won, but I think you can't really go in from behind like no, that that's, anyway. That's really. what they try to cut out of football, isn't it, these days? And, oh, yeah. Oh, Trying to take matters into his own hands now. Well, he's going to have to, I think. He's the player, isn't he? Yeah. He's the difference maker for them. And he turns boundary here. And he knows he can't cut back in, so he waits. And then he just fires it near post. Maybe if he'd gone far, far post, post uh, might have thinking. been a better option. Yeah. Does win the corner, though. And the they all buffers. steam in here. And there is a header with straight into the hands of Mafumbi. That was a strange... Looking kick and his and Bifuma Sonic. Has won it. And he still has it, Bifuma. But it is one back. But then Dore was that a hit from Dore? It certainly was, but deflected. Oh, well. what, a great save. what a save in the end! There, well, he needed it. He's having a howler, Jeremy, isn't he? Yeah. Saint Louis couldn't do anything, even though he was gifted the ball. What's he done there? What he's tried? Oh, like Loris Carius in last year's Champions League what he's trying to do there I'd love to be in his head be a fly, on, fly on the wall in his brain and oh! that was almost a fantastic header beautiful looking header number 12 there I'm not quite sure who it is but that he steamed in didn't he he did a lovely little glancing header as well which is what they like to they like to do and here is Saws Swai Pale now, Congo do play five at the back here, which is why Sao Tome and Princip may be struggling a bit. And they are claiming he's being tackled there. That but, is exactly what he's complaining about there. But yeah, you are going to get tackled. But he has to make matters into his own hands. But that five at the back didn't seem to be a problem for Togo, did it? Didn't seem to be a problem for Iswatini. And also, their defence doesn't seem to be a problem. Off the line! Off the line! Dory! Hits it back oh, in, Jeremy. What an absolute shocker Jeremy is having. What is, I don't even know where he is in this. Oh, he he's did, made the save. Hasn't made the initial save. He took enough sting off it there for the, the defender to clear it off the line. And then he's made a good save downstairs. Yeah. But he's, for a man who's making some decent saves, he's also having a shocker. The only reason that they're out of the tournament currently is because he failed to control the pass that was back to him. He is one of the littlest goalkeepers in the world. And they've tried that header oh, again. Gone. And it's worked this time. It went through him. It's gone through the keeper. It's on the angle. It's exactly the same corner routine as the last one. The near post glancing header. It's gone through him. It has. Yeah, that's a that's an error. Goalkeeping error for sure. I mean, only Angwe, great. I mean, great corner, great header, and Dinger with a fan. Oh, he's driven it in beautifully. But oh my through goodness, the hands. it's literally gone through his arms. That is absolutely shocking goalkeeping. And if that sends them home, they're now relying on Togo to win three goals to nil. Oh my goodness! I am absolutely devastated for the likes of Luis Leal here. Well, he's still got 20 minutes on so to get a point out of this I just game. Can't see them doing it. I just genuinely can't see the Congo have absolutely turned it up here. And there's Tav Bifuma. He gets a shovel. I mean, he looked a bit tired there, and that was an easy tackle for. Well, I think some players here need to be all right, don't they? Really. Jose De Silva. Oh, he skipped past his man. Jose De Silva gets absolutely, absolutely gang raped there. there. He did get absolutely battered, didn't he? <laughs> Ooh, Leal. And he's getting closer, is Luis Leal, but one still of these has got to go in, hasn't it? Has to at some point. I mean, when he when they opened up the tournament and he scored that hat trick, you were just thinking, well, could go anyway, couldn't it? This guy is going to be. I mean, our Sao Tome and Prince are going to win this tournament, and is he going to be the Golden Boot winner? But been poor since then not Leal personally but the no, he's still he's still it. kept his quality up as Lewis yeah as he's a good player he looks like a solid player but as you can see his team conceding two goals against one of the worst sides well to a side oh, that's only that's, scored uh, three up until now and that's, that's the scored. quality from Congo what we've come to expect Mafoon be there just seeing absolutely something that nobody else in the world has seen there that looks like he's trying to reach the sun with the ball and Oh, and how's he not scored that? So close there. Nine. And that ball should be going to Luis Leal anyway. Watch, look at Luis Leal's run here. It's a great gone. It's a great ball. But they've decided to, be to play fair. it through. It is a good ball, but how's he not scored it? There's the mighty Leal, uh, the sign. 
His fans love him. He is fantastic. He's been great this tournament. And it's a re it'd be a real shame if he does get... Does have to be on a flight home. And that's a crunching tackle of Pale. Referee, it just lets it go. The referee knows that Pale is going to run with it. Lionel Dos Suarez. Another crunching Advantage challenge. referee. Jose De Silva. Doesn't take advantage. And he's missed it. And are and they not going to give the penalty for that? This is absolutely shocking scenes here. Are they not going to get the penalty for that? Well, that's a free well, that's kick. That's a free kick there. There's one. And then this is definitely a penalty. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. And then that's why. Ten they? times out of and ten. And they're not getting a penalty kick for that. Oh, they are. Maybe they are. Yeah, that looks like he's in the box there giving a, a yellow. Mutu's certainly in the box. But what is that for the earlier free kick? Is he going to bring it back to the original foul? Yeah. He is bringing it back for that one. So are they missing out on a penalty kick here? I feel sorry now for... And they don't even get what? the free kick. This how? is absolutely shocking officiating. How do they give the yellow card and not the free kick? And how do they not give that penalty? I understand playing the advantage there from the referee. I thought fantastic officiating because it falls to, I think it's nigh in the box. But then how do they not? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's been shocking officiating in this tournament. It really has. And that for me, because that's the lifeline. That's the lifeline that they needed here. And we said there will be goals in this game. There has been. There's been two. A lot less than I was expecting when you've got probably the hottest forward in the tournament on the field. And some nice little wingers. And well. And that's Adam, Ademar Neves. Oh my goodness me. Ademar Neves there. And there's a strike well wide of the post. Tired legs there from St. Louis. Couldn't get enough behind it. But it was tired legs. It was a it was a shocking effort, really. He could have just kept going. Well, I think he was too tired to even run anymore. But like Slatan said when he hit his. Yeah, I'm just going to hit it because I can't be bothered to run anymore. Well, Andy climatic ending, really, because I thought that should have been a penalty and it should have given us... Oh, it should have given us some time in that last bit of the of the game to actually enjoy. And this man's been all right, though. He's just run all game. But he can't do anything when nobody's making a move for him, can he? And they are absolutely... They're, they're done, aren't they? Paggard. Is that the word? Paggard? I think Paggard might well be the word. He's drilled that ball over there. And Leal tried to get round the corner. Just a minute left now. Just a minute left. Lewis Leal with a leg goal. And it does. It enough? It, well, it does. It, what it does is it does reduce that goal difference that they're going to need. It's it now only two goals. It could be a difference maker. But he should have had a penalty about 10 minutes I know, ago. I know. It's absolutely disgraceful, to it's, be honest with you. It's great to see Lewis Leal get his name on the score sheet because he's deserved it this game. Well, well, for the strength there, because that defender's like a foot bigger than him. Wow, Bob Bowdry's not a not a little man, is he? Is he offside? I mean, he, nah, he's about level, isn't he? Yep. Yeah, but the officiating, as we know, he could have been anything there. Oh, he could have been about five yards offside. They'd have said he was onside. He could have been on mainland Africa. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one there. Very topical joke. And this has the last kick of the game, really. Yep. The own goal and only Angue for Congo Brazzaville will win this one. It, it could have, it could be the end of the road for Sao Tome, but it could also not be the end of the road. Depends on Togo's performance against E Swatini, and if they manage to go through E Swatini, I'd be very surprised, to be honest with you, because I just don't think that they. Uh, I don't think they're as good a side that as they should be. I'm sorry, I think they're a worse side than they are. They have been. Togo definitely through there with this game. So what do we need for Sao Tome to get through here? Uh, one under on goal difference and East Sotini are one over. So East Sotini need to lose 2-0 and that's the only way Sao Tome have a chance. So if they lose 1-0, they still go through. On the head-to-head. -head. East Wittini still go through just on goal difference if they lose 1-0 oh. the total. Oh, so they need to lose 2-0 and then... And then Sao Tome should go through. Won't they still be on the same points they then? They'll be on the same points, the same goals scored, the same goals against. 
everything is exactly the same. But then it would be um, East Routini South Tome result. But East Routini won that game, so it would be East Routini. No, South Tome won that game, so South Tome would go through. Oh, sorry, yeah, they played in the first game, didn't South they? Tome that's my, that's my bad. Yeah, I forgot that it was Congo that East Routini beat last time. Yeah, it was Thierry Buffoon, his early effort. Yeah, so it's still an opportunity, but we haven't seen many games that have ended with more Two than nil, one yeah. goal um, advantages for the sides, but. What a game this one was, Onyangwe. Great player. Gets that decisive goal. That's a good save there from Jeremy. And this is when Leal just starts going, you know what, I need to start doing something in this game. This is the first one where I think actually maybe he's got an opportunity. He's unfortunate, Leal, to not, to not get a couple in this second half. Nino Suarez booked for a challenge there. Then again, Luis Leal turns Valdry, can't turn inside, keeps going, gets to the edge of the box, fires it across. Not across, sorry, fires it near post. That's one way you're thinking maybe if he goes far post there, it might be a little bit more difficult for Mafumbi. And then St. Louis just hits it from about 40 yards. And then almost, I'm oh, not sorry, St. Louis, yeah, someone else hits it from about 40 yards and then St. Louis should score that. Should have been, yeah. Jeremy makes, does all right. And this, and is, this the is the first, first time. Yep. He just can't get his head up, can he? He's only he's always falling. It's like it's behind him a bit, yep. And then And that's a good bit of defensive play by the number five. And then Dory the hits it. And another good save. That is a great save, that one. Looks like Ivanaldo would have yeah, got Ivanaldo that one. was there, wasn't he? And then they do the same corner again, but this time absolutely terrible goalkeeping. Take nothing, take, take nothing, nothing yep, away from exactly. Head. But the goalkeeping's shocking. What a whip this is. Drives it in. Bang. Into Into the the deck as well, that's what you're taught. It is, that was a perfect header. And then we don't get any more highs. You don't see that, because they don't obviously want to show the highlights of their shocking officiating. So we go straight to (laughs) Lewis Leal's goal. After a penalty shout and a free kick shout, which ends up being a goal kick. And a red card shout. I mean, I mean, mean, what happens there is you get a free kick, which the referee goes, yeah, that's a free kick. Let's it play. You then get a penalty shout, which then falls to another striker who puts it wide. And the ref goes, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the goal kick and book the first defender. It should come back to the penalty at least. Um, It probably would have ended 2-1. Probably still would have ended 2-1, but, you know, you just, you get disappointed, don't you, with that kind of thing. And when you... When you had a professional FIFA run tournament like this, you expect to see good officials. Skewed possession there. The losing team with the greater percentage of possession. They played uh, when they needed to in that second half. They had a few more opportunities, but I think um, I think Congo were on the back foot for the the full ninety. If I'm honest, they, yeah, pretty much. They, yeah. they had more shots, but I, I mean, when, where were they from on the pitch? You know, they were from yards away, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere and anywhere. Yeah, but uh, they're the winners. Man of the match is Onyangwe. I think he deserved it with his goal and he, he did play very well. And you know what, it's a shame actually that they go home after this because they did really well in this fixture. Yep, Congo, well, Congo. Yeah, Congo are, are going. They are around, aren't they? Yep. So it's, it is a shame, but we lose another side. But, you know, Sao Tome live to fight another day potentially. Luis um, Leal, by far and away the best player on the Sao Tome team. Oh yeah, team. I mean, he could have been man of the match if it wasn't for Ronnie Angui's performance today. But Sao Tome just didn't turn for me. Certainly um, didn't. But and, still, uh, very, even more central than it was what, more central, what we've seen. Very little wing play this time. But we will see you later on because it is going to be Togo taking on East Matini. A big game. Somebody needs to win it. And um, Sao Tom will be hoping it's Togo. They will, and they'll be hoping it's Togo by at least two goals to nil. They and will. we will see you there, won't we? It's, um, we're going to say bye now because you know Coronation Street is coming on. No, I'm sorry, EastEnders, because it's the BBC. So we're going to let you go and <laughs> um, enjoy that one. And we'll catch you later on for another cracker here in Mauritius. Au revoir.